It's freezing. And girls, good morning. We got a little opener right now. I gotta break down some stoke for you guys. I lost my wallet the day that we were heading on the Mexico trip, the first day. And my mom watched the vlog and she hit me up and told me, she's like, you gotta be more careful. And I literally said, I'm sorry, I can't be more careful. I'm as careful as I can be. And I'm actually stoked that it happened. And she's like, why? I was like, everything good happens for a reason. She says, yeah, I know that, but why are you stoked that it happened? And I said, I don't know yet, but good. And I will let you know when I find out. So she said, good luck with that. And here I am, two and a half, three weeks later, ready to tell you why that was a good thing. And that is because I lost my ID in my wallet, went to the DMV to go get a new ID printed, and they passed me a slip that said Oregon Court. I had a pending Oregon ticket that I never paid, I guess, must have flown away, I didn't even know. So I had to go through a crazy fee and pay like 600 bucks to the Oregon DMV, pay a reinstatement fee, get my license cleared through the court, then call the Oregon DMV, get my license cleared through them, they had to fax it to California, then I had to wait a couple days, bring a bunch of forms of ID, go down, and finally get my license, which has apparently been suspended in the States. So if I did not lose my wallet, I would have still been driving around with crazy infractions and illegally with no license. So that is why it is a good thing that I lost my wallet. And you know, I literally cannot know that until a couple weeks goes by, but there we go. We figured it out. Your morning stoke and motivation for why something that seems very negative, like losing your wallet with all of your belongings in it can actually be a good thing. So good morning. It is insanely windy. I'm going 90 miles an hour. But we spent the past like five days at the Cribby taking care of stuff. I've been doing a full edit a day, sometimes two videos into one. You guys have been watching the Mexico videos, you'd be stoked because they're bangers. Probably the best videos I've ever made. I have so much fun editing them and just looking back on the memories. But we also did a bunch of merch orders. And I got the new way set up with these packaging things that makes it so easy. So I'm not even tripping over anything. You guys can order whatever merch you want right now. And the only promise I have is that you will not receive it by the time you would like to. Normally people have great guarantees. Mine is the opposite. I guarantee you if you order merch from me, it will be delayed, but you will be stoked and it will have extra stuff when you get it. So we're jumping into some shout outs. We got Paige Carr, Casey Cavell, Tyler Batorf, Michael Furmeister, Charlie Kassler, Blake Riley, Jeremy Raymond, Robert Weissenens, I don't know if I got that one right, Madeline Cusa, Elena Pody, Landon Mensick, Mike Shanahan, Zachary Adams, Jacob Hughes, Parker Friend, Ty Hamilton, Josh Bear, Taylor Cranford, Aiden Gomez, Lex Washburn, Michael Dlugos, if we spelt that right, Steven Searcy, Randy Hodgson, David McGrath, Chris Story, Casey Percival, and Joe Wilkin. These are also giveaways for people. I don't even know, I get messages all the time. I do my best, I do all this on my own. i stoked I got kind of a decent way to make it all happen. And you guys are about to be stoked with this next sentence. We're heading to Tahoe right now. My weather guy, yep, we got a weather guy, sent us the heaviest report I've ever read in my entire life and they're claiming almost around 10 feet. He's not going full claims on the 10 feet because he's precise, but he's claiming in between five and 10 feet and it's about to be insane. So we're gonna shut this little session down right here and drop you guys a little surf edit from the day that we returned to Baja at my Baja Cribby and it was crazy and it looks like it was perfect barrels but the wind was like 40 miles an hour and almost impossible to paddle into and you would have needed a longer board but if you were on a longer board the barrel would be harder so giving you a little montage of a full blown body sesh by your boy Truly and then who knows next time you see us we might be on the road driving up to Tahoe in this girl or I don't even know but here you go hope you guys enjoy it we'll see you soon Thank you for the love, the stoke, and the support.
and girls. Hope you enjoyed that edit. We just spilled a bunch of coffee all over ourselves, meaning we have lots of coffee to spare. And the car is fully packed. Not that gnarly, didn't go crazy with it. Threw the snowboard in, threw the surfing gear in, but the wind is gonna be way too gnarly the next like week. That's why we're going full commitment on the snowboard trip. We're going to pick TCAP up right now, and we're going to test drive the dream riggy that is just not built for four feet of Tahoe snow. But the first trip, where do you guys think? Where do you wanna see? Drop some comments. Where should we take the big rig for the first ever trip with her? Not the big, big rig, but just the big rig. Needs a little well job. Half a tank. You love to see it. <laughs> that was great. She's golden. Just needs a little bit of love. Epic trip. Coming soon. But here we go. Epic trip coming now. <laughs> what do you think you're bringing, dude? <laughs> Backpack and a board bag. Take notes, people. Take notes. What are we thinking about this trip right now? Six feet. Six feet. It's like shoulder high for decap. Welcoming home. She's shining.
Yeah, that's gone. Good drink. What's that from? Aldi. Aldi. Calmet. Stomp. Yeah. The stomp. That was a good feature though. That was a good one. <laughs> a little too good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so they're not here? Huh? They're not here, huh? They're at the bar. These kids are unreal. All right, boys, day one back on snow. First day, I believe, of my 2021 season. Kept it super mellow. A couple fun laps with the boys. We got an insane storm coming, so just wanted to get back on snow and get the legs kind of worked out so that they're not burning too bad on the leg burning days. Maybe a couple Mike Dossie clips, maybe not. We don't know. I think so. <laughs> And uh, now we gotta find T Cap and Scrizzy who bailed out on us early and we think hit the bar. <laughs> There's a couple cold ones, real quick. A couple cold ones. You got any crows for boys? Did you guys hit the bar, T Cap? Did you convince Scrizzy already? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wouldn't have been a smart idea, idea though. <laughs> 